What is a forward assist and when should you use it? The reason you need your forward assist is because for whatever reason if your bolt gets locked to the rear or will not go forward you cannot disassemble your firearm. Even with both the pins out it will not slide out. Now you might be thinking well there's different types of lower receivers. That particular rifle has a lower receiver that's guarded. Well I got you covered on both lower receivers. Actually the Smith & Wesson has a fully open receiver. As you will notice with the bolt back it will not come apart. Now the Ford Assist definitely has some downfalls. One of the biggest ones being because you're changing the angle of how you're pushing on there you're at a huge mechanical disadvantage. Like on the scales here I'm going to show you it takes roughly about 8 pounds of pressure pushing on the back of the carrier to lock it into place. Now my little scale wouldn't even read the amount of pressure that it took to lock it into place using the Ford Assist so I had to use a human scale but it comes to about roughly 20 pounds of pressure. With that being said, it takes roughly double the amount of work that the buffer spring would have to do to accomplish the same job a forward assist would have to do. If the buffer spring only needs to take 10 pounds to push it forward, you have to apply 20 just to match it and then 30 to do more. And that's funny because you always see those tactical people doing press checks just pushing on it real quick. That does absolutely nothing. They're probably not even doing the same amount of work that the buffer springs just pushing on it at rest. Plus you have the mass of the buffer and the bolt carrier in forward motion which is drastically going to increase the amount of work it's accomplished. For whatever reason if you have to use your forward assist this is how you're going to do it. You are going to apply your hand firmly on the handguard and firmly on the buffer tube. Find something solid and slam it against there. Now that we covered what a forward assist is and how to use it, what is it used for? There are several reasons why your bolt will not go forward on your AR-15. Almost none of these will be fixed by a forward assist. A good example would be a squib round. If you actually force the round in there with the forward assist crushing the tip of your bullet into your casing and then fire your rifle, your barrel's gonna explode. Now am I trying to make the case that a forward assist is useless? Not at all. As a matter of fact, one of the few times where you should use your forward assist actually happened to me. One of my favorite gun channels told me that you should apply gun grease to wherever you see wear on your AR-15. And I don't know if this gun channel maybe never used gun grease in crazy cold temperatures, or maybe I bought the wrong type of gun grease. Yeah, it turned to glue once it got below negative 20. So I had to use my Ford Assist exactly how I demonstrated in the video to start my first and second round. Then as my AR warmed up, it ran flawlessly. The point I'm trying to make is other than that crazy oddball experience I had, the only time you should really use your forward assist is to get your bolt forward so you can take apart your weapon and clean it and figure out what the malfunction is. If it's too dirty that you have to use your forward assist to chamber your round, it needs to be cleaned anyway. And other than a squib malfunction, the forward assist is not going to drive the bolt home. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave in the comments below if you have other experiences where a forward assist has helped you out.